So Bill, uh, yeah. where's the, the cable? Oh, that short piece? Yeah, that's right out the door there. Now this, this doesn't need little eyes on it because it already has it from the factory, so that's actually pretty useful. But, I have this smaller cable that I've had since I was a kid. I got it somewhere, I don't know. And I have this cable, which came off of the, the winch that I restored. It just hooks into this little... Has everybody thing. seen that winch yet? Well, we're still... Fin well, I want to finish the video with pulling down a tree. And that's what we're kind of building up to here. I'm building like, I don't know. Anyway. So, here's the, the steel cable, which originally came off this. And I think it'd be really good for it. But, do you know, it's called a farmer's... Oh, your gloves on the furnace is going to melt. Uh, it's still all right. Okay. No, the farmer's hook okay, so loop deal thing anyway. that I've never heard of. Okay, yeah. So, so you've never heard of a farmer's eye? No. Have you ever watched a channel called Essential Craftsman? No. Okay. He's a really smart guy. I think we and him will get along really well. Well, he has a video talking about how to make, how to, how to loop this cable together. And I think... I am a bit... Uh... He's skeptical. Yeah. Let's see. Come over here. Actually, you know what? Should I cut that? All right, now that scrap yard messed up ending is all kind of fixed. So that's, now we can deal with it. Cause it was all kind of mangled together, you know? Oh, look at, oh, look at that. Perfect. I want to see it. Let me, I'm going to get close. So, according to him... He, oh, I see. Okay, you're spread it out. This, oh, the, oh, feel how soft that core is. That's weird. Oh, wow, that is softer than I thought yeah, it would be. Is this like rope or something? I don't know. But either way, you take... Keep the core in there. And you keep, you keep them wrapped around. According to his information. You know, I'm going to take... So now I have two pieces like that. I'm going to undo this. So that's three strands and a core and three st strands. And now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'll go one, two, three. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it now. Yeah. All right. That's not what I thought it was going to be. It's pretty fancy though, eh? Yeah. See, I thought you were going to go oh. take the end, flip it over, and then somehow twirl it in. But you've taken two pieces. I get it now. Yeah. All right. And you were questioning how strong it was back when I was telling you about it. Uh, yeah, because I didn't think... But this is literally just like as strong as a cable is. So. Yeah. Well, I can see now what's going on. You getting a good shot of this? Yep. Okay, cool. I did not realize. Ah, oh, look at that. It does work. Oh, I God. didn't realize the two ends, you know. I mean, I already like the guy, but man, now I really like Essential Craftsman. Because <laughs> it works. I get it now. Now, this looks kind of right. tiny on purpose. Because, um... You still got to try to fit it into the thingy. Ah, oh, look at this. It works. Oh, my God. I see what's going on. That man has some real wisdom, I'll tell you. Because oh, he was like a... He worked there with a lumber and stuff like that, so... One more. There it is. And, um... That actually makes a pretty nice loop. You know, I... You know, I mean, I suppose you could trim if you wanted to, but... Yeah, I could trim that. I went too far with this. Should I undo it and... Well, that's the first time you ever did that, isn't it? You know what? I'm I gonna... don't know. I think you're all right. I'm going to undo it. I'm going to redo it because I want this to look nice. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and then I am going to rewind it a little bit because I just I unwound it like one loop too much. Yeah, so you got to go sort of up the cable one loop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I see I see what you're talking about now. I didn't I didn't get it at first. It's funny cuz like all these years since I was a kid, I never really saw the the value and Yeah, see I'm going to show See, I thought you were taking the end like this yeah. and then somehow attaching it and I'm like, "How in the world?" No, this is like a beautiful solution. Yeah. So, I'm going to take this and go back one loop. And now I'm going to go one, two, two and a half. Yeah. That right there is what I didn't get. Well, kind of messed up a little bit, but because the, the middle part is actually a rope, oddly enough. The, the, the core on this one is not metal. It's Really? Yeah, it's actually like a cotton rope. Oh, wow. It's odd, but... Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I can see how it would be strong now. Yeah. Is that good enough, I wonder? I think you're all right. It's, uh, I don't know. Well, is it, this is the first time you've ever done that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks pretty good for a first attempt. Now I'm going to take that. I'm going to hammer it. The whole workshop is so rattling. Because last year I found this part of a, a, a chain hoist. Come in closer so you can see. That we got a chain for that I thought would fit, but I was way off. Oh, well. Now it's not big enough to go around this chain sprocket, but it's big enough to go around that. You know what? I probably should uh, put some grease on there. A little bit of grease will help. You know? Yeah. It's never going to be turning though. Yeah. But I think I'll take that. There you go. Oh, that'll work. Quite swimmingly. Oh, that's actually going really well. But that thing is aluminum, so I think we still got to be careful with that. It is rated for 1,000 pounds, though. 454 kilograms. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Because I'm gonna be hooking this this winch to my work workbench, so eventually, like once we once we tear down the tree um, with it, and if I don't and if I don't use it for a trebuchet, <laughs> then I can have the, uh, the these cables going up into pulleys and have them come down in different locations. And now this can go like so. Okay. It's good enough for now. So I find my socket for it, but um, I'm hitting this carbon monoxide detector. Is it t going off because it's detecting carbon monoxide? No, because I hit it uh -huh. really hard. I was gonna say I don't feel a little dizzy or faint, so. No. And yeah, there's too much air in this place. Pretty funny. Eh? Yeah. And a lot of work. It's sticking to my glove. <sighs> Almost. I'm excited about that. Look at this. Will it hook on there? 
perfect. Oh, look at that. Couldn't so be more good. perfect. Funny how these just mound up. Oh yeah. There. there we go. That's pretty good. And then that can wrap around whatever. And then I think, you know, now that I've now that I've shown that I can actually do that, I wanna try doing this. And then we got four strands. Three strands. You know, would, you, would it be nicer to have it on the... There we go. Over this. Should I make this one bigger? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe go another one. I'll try this one. One, two, three... <laughs> looks good on that end there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like it melded right back in. I'm just going to snip these ones that are stragglers because they're not helping anything, so. Get it to twist around there one more time. Yeah. Gonna get this stuck in there and then... It's messy, but no. Um. Looks good here. Ah, that is tough. Gonna put one on each end? Yeah, why not? Otherwise it's kind of useless, you know. When I was a kid, I was trying to, trying to fasten it, but I didn't know how. Okay. Well, I had never realized this one method. Those clamps. See, that's what I would have ended up using, some sort of clamp. It obviously didn't work. I don't know what I was trying to do with this. I was probably trying to make a trebuchet again. Oh. I guess I'm still trying to make a trebuchet. Hey, I guess I can use my uh, old, like, screwdriver. That one's solid wire all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, there's no rope on the middle. Make sure, the, sure these are still wrapped around fine. Now this one I'm going to go a bit more and have a bit over, overhang. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now let's try that. Because once it settles into its place. it off. In fact, I'll pull it just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's all kind of lining up. The two spirals have to yeah. bite into each other almost. It's not so bad. Maybe I should redo the other one to well, I suppose the more you do it, the better it's going to get. Yeah. And this rope just worked really well for that. That's perfect. I like that. Oh, you know what? So I, I got these um, shackles. Maybe I'll return a couple of them, but they'll be good for now. So 
So like, um... Now we have like a 60 foot cable for this thing. We're pulling down that dead tree. Yep. Maybe not the bigger one, but the smaller one would work fine. I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. Popping and cracking. What was that? Wow, I see his wing. Where did you get some wing? Darn it, I was right in front of it. The crappy strap's still hooked oh, up. Oh, the loop gave way. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's not as strong as I'd hoped. Was that the one that I put over or under? I, I, I don't know, but that's the, that loop that goes in. It came very nice and easy, though. That's the one that I under, under did on. Okay, so. So you gotta make the loop bigger, basically. Yeah, here. I don't gnarled it up. That's a shame. There was some stress on that. Yep. It was, the tree was moving, but it wasn't ready to give at all. So I'm going to go a bit more. And then... It's definitely uh, messed up a little bit. Well... Yeah. Must have been a hell of a lot of force to pull that apart. Yep. Well, it's a 20, 22 to 1 revolution crank, and uh, it, was, it was getting it pretty good. So there we go. Now, where'd that thing go? Chain fell over here somewhere. Got some tension. Um, careful of that other end loop now, you know. Something popped. Is it failing? No. That is tight. It looks like it's holding for now. You know what? This is starting to go a little bit. Is that? A tiny, tiny bit. And my camera won't focus for shit. There we go. Oop. I forgot that rotates. How are your hooks holding out on the tree there? Chain's tight, yeah. strap's tight, so. I think that sudden burst of, of uh, pressure is what probably caused this to kind of come undone, you know? That was a shit ton of... I might redo this there. one too. 
but um well i think maybe one of the things was it pulled it when it snapped it pulled it back so fast that it hit that tree so it kind of brushed it i don't know I hope, got, I hope you enjoyed this video and did you enjoy this bill? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See ya.